a command, and this is my show. From near to far, go in the field. From downtown to out of town. From city park to national forest. From farmland to farm animals. I grew up here, so let's go. See you on Theratown. Hammett Model Master Richard, President Richard Lawrence. So Richard Lawrence, how did this club get started? Well, there's a group of guys that were probably about my age, uh, maybe a little younger and some a little older. 25 plus years ago, they decided they wanted to put a yeah, flying field in this town to fly at with their RCs. And that's how this field came about, this club came about. What do you like about being the club president? <laughs> well, um... I don't mind being the president. It's, it is a job. Uh, I just like being in the club and uh, whatever I can do to help the club uh, improve and, and stay here and, and have everybody else, everybody else enjoy the field to fly. That's the part that I enjoy about being president, just helping the club stay intact. All right. How many club members are there? Well, we picked up two new members yesterday. I think we're up around 180 plus uh, around that, right around there, 180 or so members, which is a pretty good sized club. That's awesome. How do you become a club member? Well, there's a couple of ways. One, you can come to the field and uh, you can pick up a, an application and uh, you can join the club. But the first and foremost, you have to join AMA, which is the uh, Academy of uh, Model Aeronautics. And that is uh, required. And then you can become a member of this club. Uh, it's easy. And also we're online at himatmodelmasters.net. What are some upcoming events? Mm, here, I think next month, or I think it's next month, we've got a uh, pattern competition. Uh, guys come out and fly the planes in certain patterns, then we've got an IMAC competition in a couple of months. What uh, do you do? Go ahead. What do you do for Halloween and Christmas? Hmm, Halloween, uh, not much. But Christmas, we have a big toy drive, and we have a bunch of people that come out, and we feed everybody a little bit of food during the day and enjoy that uh, enjoy that day with everybody else. All right! What's Hawking and Hammett? Well, this flyer right here, Sarah. That flyer right there. What it is is we're going to have a bunch of guys coming in from Northern California and Southern California and maybe some from Arizona. They're going to come in uh, and uh, fly their acrobatic planes any way they want and have a good time for the weekend and uh, basically just put on a show for people who've never seen that kind of flying. So it'll be a really cool event. We'll probably have 30 plus planes. It'll be really fun. All right. Yay. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> so Greg, how long have you been flying model airplane? Well, I started flying model airplanes as a child and um, of course, uh, adulthood took over and I got away from it for a while but then started flying RC planes again in the early 80s so I've been flying RC planes since early 80s. All right! Do you build your own plane? Um, well I used to build them but now these are these are uh, called almost ready to fly uh, models and they actually come from a factory that like this all we do is rig them and put the electronics and the motors and all that in okay what are you going to be flying today um today i'm going to be flying what is called the uh, known sequence which is a sequence that we practice for our competitions and uh so we have to fly that uh five times over the weekend 
And then we also fly an unknown sequence once during the weekend, which is a sequence that we don't get to practice, that we have to uh, just memorize and fly. Thank you, Greg. All right. Thank you, sir. Do you fly gas or electric plane? This is a competition airplane. We fly in what's called uh, international miniature aerobatic competitions. So we fly them all over the western United States in competitions. And this plane has, um, has about a 10-foot wingspan. It's about 10 feet long. And it has a 222cc four-cylinder engine in it. Matter. So, T, tell us about this plane. Well, there are certain planes that just about everybody that flies RC planes has had at one time or another, and this is one of them. It's one of the most um, popular models in the world, I would guess, and it's called a big stick. Some people call it an ugly stick, uh, and there's a variation on it called an ultra stick. Um, it's a really nice flyer. It uh, does some some basic aerobatics. Um, this plane um, probably costs a little bit less than $500, totally equipped with the electronics and the motor and everything. And so it's it's pretty affordable uh, and it's really fun to fly. Mm -hmm. How long have you been flying this one? Um, I think I've been flying this plane for about six months. Um, I had a issue one day where I the engine died and I had to la land in the weeds and it put little poked little holes in the the covering and but I just put a little patch on it and it was easy to fix up. Cool. Did you build this yourself? No, I I didn't build this one. Um, this one came with the all built and with the covering. Um, I did have to um, put on the motor and I had to put in the electronics and all that stuff, but the basic plane uh, came that way and that's the way most people uh, Buy their planes nowadays. It's a lot of work to build one. I do have a kit that I'm building at home uh, Where I, I put all the balsa together from sheets and I'm in the process of covering that uh, Just because I wanted to learn what it was like to do that. And it also teaches you a lot about, in particular, how to repair an airplane. All right. Thank you, T. You're welcome. Thank you for coming out.
Mario, like Mario from Mario Brothers. Dun 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 dun. dun. So Mario, um, how did you get started on playing them? Well, I started flying airplanes in the early 80s, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it so much that I've been in it ever since. Cool! When did you join this club? I joined this club in 2009. Wow, that's not too long ago. So what about this plane? When was this type of plane invented? This plane, the model is called an MXSR, and it's a 3D aerobatic airplane. It's a got a 56 cc engine in it. It's an 88 inch wingspan, and it's modeled after the airplanes that they fly in the Red Bull racing races. <gasps> cool! Thank you, Mari. We appreciate you coming out. I'm here with Vincent. He's gonna tell us about his model airplane. Um, this is a Newport 17. It flew in um, World War I. Um, it was actually built for the Americans to fly on the French front. Um, there was something about it that the French wouldn't actually fly it because they considered it to be a safety hazard. Um, it did fly against the popular DR-1 Fulker. The real guy that flew it was, it was actually Baron von Richthof, and that was actually the Red Baron. And these are the planes that, that fought against him in the war. Did you make this or did, or did you buy it? I bought this airplane from Dick Taylor and he had it hanging up for about 15 years before I got it. And I've been flying it ever since. I've had it in the air for about a year now. What do you enjoy most about flying this biplane? Yeah, it's a biplane. Um, they actually call the lower wing a step, but it is considered to be a biplane. And the thing I enjoy most about flying is it's, for me, it's relaxing and it's really cool to watch airplanes fly. All right. <laughs> All right. I know, but this is <laughs> I haven't had this off for months. Tell us about your plane. It's an Ultimate 2 biplane. It runs on a 3S battery with 2200, and I really like it. Well, when was this type of plane invented? The real one? Uh, that is a great question. I'm sure it's probably in the early, I don't know, 2000s. What is the plane made out of? Uh, it's mostly foam. It has carbon fiber inserts to strengthen it and some plastic. All right. What do you enjoy most about flying this biplane? Uh, it's very maneuverable. I could do all sorts of tricks and flips and loops, and wherever I point it, that's where the airplane goes, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Chancellor. You got it. What is this? That is a Yak-55. It's a, a Russian design, and uh, it's a, it's a um, acrobatic airplane. Does this have the bigger engine? This engine here is the biggest engine I have um, for any of my airplanes here. Anything you wanted to share more to share about model building? Yeah, I've, I have all kinds of things, but model building is just not for old men. It's for young kids too, and we, um, as a club, are always uh, looking for the opportunity to teach uh, younger kids and uh, younger folks uh, how to fly, mm -hmm. and uh, to perpetuate, uh, you know, the hobby and the sport. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a little extra help, really.
long time so this is my third cam and I'm gonna show you some experiments today. The first one is soda and salt. See kids, you pour it carefully into the bath. Now you may want to, for the younger viewers, you may want to get your parents to help you. Then you put the funnel in like this. Here it goes. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna run my tasty glasses for this one and you might want to too. This next experiment looks like magic, but it's not. It's science. Yeah, it turned pink. See, kids? The next experiment is a fun one, too. It turned hot pink. See? Yeah. We're gonna pour it slowly back in here. This is the next half of the experiment. That's it, that's my third science cam. Bye! Okay, you ready? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You can do her, baby. Come on. We're here with Richard Nick. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Richard Lawrence, president of Hemant Model Masters. So, Mr. Richard Lawrence, tell us a little bit about model making. Well, model making is a, a passion that I've got. I like to fly the airplanes. There's a lot to building uh, these models, um, several different ways to build them. You can build them already made up for you, or you can make them yourself. That's awesome! How much does it cost to build an airplane? Well, it could cost anywhere from 35, 40 bucks to $10,000 and up. It just depends on what kind of plane you're going to build and what you want to build. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Holy cow. What kind of plane do you like to build? Well, I really like World War II airplanes. I like the warbirds that uh, are, some are fast, some are slower, um, and they just uh, have a lot of different personalities and characteristics with them that uh, are a lot of fun to fly and to build as well. That's awesome. I had two grandparents that were in World War II, a great grandpa Carl and grandpa Pat. What kind of tool do you use to make a model airplane? I use all kinds of tools. I use woodworking tools, I use mechanical tools, I use electrical tools, you name it. It takes a very large amount of tools to build these planes. Awesome. What's the biggest model plane you ever built? Oh, I built uh, the largest that I've got here and I built is uh, 106 inches on the wingspan, 106 inches long, which is, what is that, uh, not quite 10 feet, it's a little... It's wow! Did you ever fly that one? Yes, it's actually the plane out there you pass by coming in the shop. Wow! What's the smallest model airplane you ever built? Oh, probably about that big, about six inches, little small guys. Oh. <laughs> cool. What do you enjoy about model making? Sometimes uh, I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I do. But what I really do, though, enjoy about it is actually building something that is going to go out and uh, fly in the air. Um, it's it's rewarding to take a bundle of wood and and uh, pieces and parts, put them together, and make them fly. It's 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 fun to do that. That's awesome! How did you first get started on building model planes? I decided to just start buying airplanes um, 
and flying them, learning to fly and crashing them. It's a vicious circle. You go back to building again. So it's a build, fly, crash. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not always fun. No, it's no. not. Do you think you'll ever quit or retire? From flying airplanes, no. Because they're so much challenging. There's a lot. There's just a lot of things that you're going to learn. Even, even if you think you know it all, you, the planes will teach you that you know nothing sometimes. So... It's it's a it's a good thing to continue to do. It keeps my hands and keeps my mind busy all the time. Awesome! Thank you. Tell us about this Navy plane. Well, that plane is a Hawker Sea Fury. Oh, it's a Hawker Sea Fury. A British uh, propeller-driven plane that was designed to fly off of uh, the decks of uh, aircraft carriers, and it still is one of the fastest uh, piston-driven airplanes ever built. It's a very large airplane. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Tell us yeah. about this one. Why is it skeleton and bone? Well, this airplane's a P-47. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an American-made airplane. It was in World War II. And uh, these uh, these busts or these pilots like this, there's an outfit uh, that makes them. And there's several different kinds. Uh, they're all funny. They're humorous. Uh, and I, I like this skeleton guy. I put that cigar in his mouth there to make him, you know, see the cigar there coming out of his mouth? Right there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just like it. I like a little humor with my stuff, you know? Oh, so, I thought that's supposed to be a villain or something. Yeah, well, it kind of is. You know, it's, that's, uh, that's Death, man. That was, uh, that was the name of that guy, uh, Pilot Death. So, yeah. But this airplane is going to be named Miss Molly. Miss Molly 2. Aww. I'm going to name it after Molly. Plane is named after Molly the dog. I'll have a picture of her face right here on the side of the plane. Aww. When I'm all done with it. She's so cute. Uh, She's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool. What about the electronic one? And what are those called? Wired things? What are those called? Well, these things here are uh, servos. That's what makes parts of the airplane move. See? Wow! Okay. Tells, uh, you know, tells it what I want it to do. Go up, go down, go left, go right, rotate around. You awesome. Know? That kind of thing. That's what that does. What about this unfinished one? What is it going to be? It's going to be... A P-51 Mustang. It's, oh, awesome. yeah, it's another World War II plane, so I've been working on it, and uh, I've got to get it down here off the bench or off the off the hanger so I can actually start working on it. I'm, I am fiberglassing it. Feel the texture in it? I don't like the sound of that. I never did on the type yeah, of... Yeah, that's fiberglass. And it feels terrible, too. Well, okay, just hold that thought. Run your hand across that. What do you think about that? Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth, right? Yeah. That's what this turns out to be. Wow! Yeah, see this has more, more epoxy on it. What about this plane? That airplane? That airplane, honestly, is over 33 years old. Oh, <gasps> wow! It's older than you are. The, yeah, the, the mold for that airplane was hand carved by one of the guys in our club who is still flying in our club. He's like 80. 85 or 86 years old, somewhere. Around. Yay! Is this a model of a real one or just made up? It is a mo it is a true scale model of a real uh, airplane, a uh, Piper Tom Tomahawk. Yeah, a Piper Tomahawk, and it was uh, built to be. It's a trainer airplane primarily, and um, that's what it was built for primarily is for people to learn how to fly. Yay! Thank you, Mister, for sharing your shop. You're most welcome, dear. I'm gonna fly a model airplane, but first I have to get my pilot's license. I'm gonna go to the Academy of Model Aeronautics website. Okay, here's what the sticks do. This one right here is a throttle. You're just going to leave this one here. 
so you won't even have to touch this side at all. Okay. So what this one does right here is when you pull it back toward you, that makes the plane go up. Okay. When you go to the right, mm -hmm. that makes the plane go right. When mm -hmm. you go to the left, that makes the plane go left. Yeah. Alrighty. This yeah. goes right. That's this left. Go That's right. Okay. This is left. This yep. is right. Yep. And back is up and forward is down. Okay. 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 Show me up, down, right. <laughs> left. <laughs> Let up, let up, little bit, sir, right there. Just hold this thumb on it. All right, Sarah, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold still, baby. Hold still. You gotta watch the plane. All right, Sarah, you're fine. Fly it. Ready? It's your plane. There you go, Sarah. It's all yours. Okay, well, they're birdies. Yeah, the birdies are out there. Controller. It was like a video game, like Nintendo. I would do it again.
after the 29th episode, we'll be... Bye! Bye!